Can you beat Dead Island by only using kicks? No shooting people, no throwing people, no catching people in Pokeballs, no using Fury, no punching people, just kicking. Bonus rules! No upgrading any of my skills. No, 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 no. And no driving unless I'm forced to. So let's shoot an overgrown man child and jump into it. But first is character selection. You got Logan. Throw an X. Yeah, I chose Logan. Why? Because I'm retarded. Benoy. A place where people dance and for others to fly. But the prologue? Easy. All you gotta do is run. Waking up to a lifeguard jerking my little gherkin? Easy. But shit's going crazy. People were constipated. Okay, can somebody give me some paper time? Kick, kick, kick. I then meet- Name's John Cena. <laughs> When John Cena isn't the head lifeguard here, he's a dream stand waiting for the dream face reveal. God damn it. But John Cena wants to play Minecraft with his friends. Tell me where you are. God damn it. But he keeps Losing losing the, the bloody place. signal, so the lifeguard station would make him happy. In Dead Island, the kicks are trash. trash. Throw them into the pile of other trash. At level 1, a standard kick would dish out 11 damage and an extra 2 damage for every level gained. Crap! At level 1, a jump kick would dish out 34 garbage. But that's when I came across my first problem. The zombies can grab. Since I have to punch, that's an instant rule break, but no punching. So you can usually tell when a zombie is about to grab you. Swipe by no swiping and move back. But others are hiding around corners like you and you. So like a person with severe trust issues, you have to sneak around every corner and check. And that's when I'm treated to my first special zombie. Oh. The thug. They hit hard and they twerk. So all I can do is 8 standard kicks before... Four jump kicks before. So with these beefcakes, it's easier to jump and kick four times, then wait, rinse, and repeat. Killing him has now given John Cena a stable internet connection. And it's time to help Mike and Dominic, unfortunately. A signal amplifier? Easy! But wait, that's not the end of the side quest. There's more! Can you do that? Unfortunately. Collecting gas cans? Boring! Because I'm choosing not to drive, walking in the resort is pretty easy. There's nobody here. Hello? Hello! So all you gotta do is keep on walking no matter what. The main route that I took was along the road because throughout the bungalows and pools, it's an infestation. If you walk along the roads, the only thing you have to worry about is the infected. They can run, they can scream, they can combo. So once you hear that scream, you yeet that gas can and kick, kick, kick. During my challenge run, I am not doing any side quests. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? I missed the part where that's my part. Anyone tries asking me anything and it's... Why? Well, when you level up, the zombie these also level up. They hit harder and have more health, which means I get more easily. Gotta take this insulin to my brother. Will you shut up? But delivering the gas to Dominic? Easy. Cans of food? Easy. Collecting juice? Easy. Just walk along this path and avoid the infestation areas. It's as easy as potting that last ball. Come on, Logan, you got this. During the armored truck mission, you can run past pretty much all of the zombies. The hotel lobby? Run. The kitchen? Run. The pool? Run. The restaurant? Run. Honestly, it's really not that difficult. I then decided to take out all this young man's Pokemon collection by wiping his hard drive. Uh, rebuilding it isn't difficult, but it does take some time. I come across my next special zombie. <laughs> The suicider. All they want is a hoyer. Yeah. So get in close and say, Can I get a hoyer? Yeah? Then back off quickly. Oh, yeah. If the suicider was on a tier list, they'd be an F rank. Thank you, John, for the tier list. I protect Nikolai, but Nikolai is pretty OP. Nikolai and Joseph are the only NPCs who I didn't struggle protecting. All the other NPCs I have to protect are trash. It's now time to pimp my ride. Defending myself from the onslaught of slapping zombies was easy. They send two at a time, which is good for my stamina. But then they come four at a time. Normal kicks weren't enough. Every attack kept knocking my balance off. They were surrounding me. My stamina was depleted. Every attack was futile against a never ending. Yeah, you just spawn back up here. The only penalty you get from dying is losing money. The zombies don't even go back to full health. So I jumped down like the Spartan Master Chief. So the truck was done. Unfortunately, this guy straight up kisses his daughter. Like, what? I love you. Ew! I then come across my next special zombie. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! The Ram. The moment you leave the front yard of this church, he instantly forgets about you. But the moment you step back in... So stand by this gate, and when he turns around, you jam your foot up his ass. And in... And out. In... This is the only ram that you must kill. All the others, you can ignore. I meet a nun who will help me, but only if I promise to help her. Which means a series of quests, 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 quests. First quest is turning the pump station back on. And this is where I meet the humans with guns. Standard kicks is like hitting them with a pillow. And that shit can either melt your stamina, or they'll kill you before you do any serious damage. So a jump kick to knock them down, and then a kick to the floor. So the pump stations are back up, and my guy Antonio evolved into a Frank. The second quest was turning off five hydrants around the 
city. Most of the pumps you can run in, turn off, and dip out. Easy. We then pray to restore Jake Paul's hairline. Blah, blah, blah. 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 Third quest is with Joseph. I don't move as fast as I used to. Wah, wah, wah. Joseph is the S rank of NPCs. He swings. He runs. Wait, he runs? I don't move as fast as I used to. Bruh. You just got caught in 4K. And now it's the sewer. Honestly, you can just run through the entirety of the sewer. So run, run, run. But then I come across my next special zombie. The floater. The only thing this guy does is vomit. Even when they do attack, it's like getting hit by a small child. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. But if you keep kicking them on a slight incline or decline, they will eventually fall like handsome Squidward. Then kick, kick, kick. I tested this out three times, so suck me, bitch. I come across more simps. Oh, well, God's well, name, well. Yeah, you, you just got inside? caught in 4K. I must loot the supermarket, but I have to go through the sewer. It's, it's the, the only, only way. way. I'm not supposed to let anybody buy, but I could turn a blind eye if you could do something for me. So I did what I had to. It's, it's the, the only, only way. way. During the supermarket, there is a sea of men, so my strategy for taking out humans with guns was to run in like Senator Armstrong, jump kick, 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 then Senator Armstrong myself out, heal up, rinse, and repeat. So there's not a lot that happens from here up until the jungle, so I'll quickly sum it up. Me and Sam B play tug of war. Joseph dies. He got the black beat out of him. Ha ha ha. Jin got caught by psychos. Christ, what did they do to you? Oh, I know what they did. John Cena keeps crying about his antenna. Wah, wah, wah. And now it's the jungle, the scariest place of them all. Stuff randomly blows up, infected run at you, the background noise is scary, the jungle is the type of place to give you nightmares and keep you up at night. And that's when I came across my final special zombie, the butcher. Honestly, the only strategy I found best was, hey, is that a nickel? See you later. You don't actually have to kill this butcher, so run, 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 run. And now I have to carry two crates. Much like the city, the jungle is also one big infestation, except for the safe houses, obviously. But if you follow my route that I took, you can keep walking unless you hear that scream. You eat that box and kick, kick, kick. But now I need a boat so I can get to this guy, which leads me to Afran. Afran's men were easy to kill since they were all following COVID-19 protocols and staying away from each other at all times. So it was just a case of running in, putting them down and running out. Afran was a little bit harder. Standard kicks were pathetic. Jump kicks were embarrassing. So my best strategy was running in there, jump kicking him, then dying over and over. Since when you spawn back, he doesn't go back to full health. And then I spent 55 minutes pretty much becoming best friends with a death screen. I then come across Big Mouth, Simps, and then a Shiny. I'm gonna skip over most of the laboratory quest because it's just boring missions that make you sleepy. Escorting OP was annoying as realizing you're gay. God damn. Most of the time, OP just stands there, but if any enemy comes within a certain radius of OP and his bare cheeks, he will execute Order 66, which will usually lead to his health melting. If there's two special zombies at a time, always focus on the thug, as a thug slaps harder than twisted doubles from Domino's. Unfortunately, OP executes Order 66 on a random girl, shoots him, why didn't she tackle him? And Big Mouth's got a big mouth. Unfortunately, there's a floater and a thug down there. So much like a mother who's got three children, always give your undivided attention to the best one because he slaps harder than chili cheese bites from Burger King. Escorting random girl was easy. She decides to go the long way around instead of the easy way, like bruh. But she doesn't really take damage and she doesn't fight. She just stands there like a good housewife and takes a beating like one. Honestly, this part is pretty easy. Oh, hey, is that a nickel? Run, 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 run. Unfortunately, you need to kill this butcher, but he's got health regeneration. And with my kicks and stamina, that's as bad of a combination as a girlfriend eating a curry before anal. But if you go to this area and keep kicking him, he'll eventually fall like Hanson Squidward and fall. I deliver the girl to Shiny. Big Mouth's got a big mouth, but we need fuel so we can get to this guy. Much like the jungle, the city is also one big infestation. So carrying that fuel is gonna be harder than not finishing a whole bag of Doritos by yourself. But if you follow the route that I took and keep walking no matter what, you'll be okay. Except for when you hear that scream. You eat that gas can and kick kick kick. Jin kills Vsauce. Laboratory gets overrun. Blah blah blah. And now it's the prison. Unfortunately, Big Mouth decided to come with us and we meet Mr. Pepperoni Nipples. He gets mad because he has no belly button. Sniff sniff sniff. I then have to do a series of quests for Mr. Salami Nips. Like escorting. How boring. But Mr. Burger Nips wants me to get him weapons. But unfortunately, the humans with guns have evolved into slightly stronger humans with guns. So my strategy for these guys is to run in, kick a few times, stamina drain, and then I'd either walk away or die. Rinse and repeat. Protecting Kevin was as easy as the royal family 
strongly protecting Prince Andrew, since Kevin doesn't fight back and he can take a beating like KSI's hairline. Also, his name is Karen, bruh. But Mr. Chorizo Nips wants more weapons despite lacking a belly button. I'm gonna skip over the next two missions as Mr. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups wants me to do everything but wipe his ass. Now you can pretty much run through the entire prison to get to this guy, so run, run, run. Since I wasn't born in a barn, I found it easy to close the doors behind me, which gives some breathing room between me and the fast zombies, since my stamina is as good as... So to get to this guy, he throws everything at you but the kitchen sink. The humans can be killed by running and kicking, duh, but the zombies come in by the truckload. I get overwhelmed like an anxious person at a small gathering, so it was just a case of constantly giving a few kicks and dying. Jin unfortunately gets shot. Perna reacts like how I'd react to finding my doctor's appointment got cancelled. I was gonna use the same method as I did with Afran, but I'd prefer not seeing the death screen more times than I've seen the outside world. If you fall off this building and land on this ledge, it will give you easy access to this guy. But much like Goldilocks, you stand too close and you'll get you did, and stand too far away and you'll fall. So stand on the right place and keep doing jumping kicks. And within 22 minutes, you have finally performed your last kick. Wow, what an emotional ending. Turns out you really can beat Dead Island with kicks. Goodbye and subscribe.